lắng nghe những chia sẻ về cơ, về cơ hội nghề nghiệp và thách thức trong tương lai đến từ Mr. Sa Saba Bandit, nhà sáng lập CEO của CETA Consulting, Phó Chủ tịch Văn phòng Thương mại Trung và Đông Âu, thành viên Hội đồng Đổi mới Sáng tạo Châu Âu thuộc Liên minh Châu Âu. Mr. Saba Bandit đã có nhiều năm kinh nghiệm trong tư vấn quản lý phát triển kinh doanh và khởi nghiệp. Ngoài ra, ông đã tham gia hỗ trợ đầu tư một số startup tại Việt Nam. Mr. Saba Bandit sẽ giúp các bạn sinh viên giải đáp những thắc mắc của mình và giới thiệu về doanh nghiệp CETA Consulting. Xin trân trọng kính mời ông. A few words about the challenges you are facing with. So, would like to give you few advice few topics will help you to find your first job or prepare yourself for the first few job interviews. So first of all, actually your situation is not easy because uh, uh, nearly at the end of the university studies you think about the first job and what you can do is uh, maybe you will talk to your parents, you talk to the teachers and you need some kind of orientation. But your situation is definitely not easy because uh, things have changed a lot since your parents were in your shoes. Because like 20 years ago, somebody just managed the university, got the graduation, it was easy to find a job, or not easy, but at least it was predictable. You were trained to you do your job. And this is what was in the past. Your kids and your children, like 10, 15 years later, even the teachers will be robots. I was in Europe a few weeks ago. I've seen some very interesting technologies. There was a robot. The robot was like, uh, the face was like a human being. The robot can understand 50 different facial expression, even not the language. And uh, this robot was used to train people, to teach people how to speak French. And why is it difficult for you? Because first you have to understand what your parents say. Because what they say, based on their logic, they are right. And you have to understand what will come in 15 years later, because now you are facing with the first job to find, but after that you have to develop yourself further and the, the need of the companies is changing and you have to be able to change. So a few things you should do, obviously talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, talk to other people, but you read the media, uh, read newspapers, internet portals about these kind of changes find some kind of internship programs and obviously you should join these kind of seminars what we have today. One of the typical situation at the first time you go to a job interview, basically you have no idea what the job interview is about and even if uh, they start to talk to you, you have a chance to, to meet the HR manager, they are asked a lot of experience. Like how to ask an experience from a fresh graduate, right? You can be smart and you can be well prepared. So once you go to a job interview, you have to do your homework, you have to make some research about the company, the competitors, what is the competitive advantage of the company. So this, in this way, you can convince the HR manager about, yeah, you are smart, you are well prepared, you know why you want to go to this company, and you know, you have to be prepared for, for this question about the experience, what you can do or what you already did to be able to convince them to hire you, not someone else. And also you can do some other preparation way before you are close to the final graduation, you can find some internship and you can have some real work experience. In this way you can tell the company you are applying for, you can say that, yeah, I'm hardworking myself, I'm a good student, but if necessary, I can do the extra mile, I can do something extra, I can, I knew that this situation will come and I will face with this problem and I have to present myself as someone who already have work experience, so I was like, kind of future oriented, 
and I take the difficulties to find an internship, and I did. Also, you can be a volunteer. There's, especially in Hanoi, there are so many NGOs. They have so many different programs where they were very happy to have you, as young professionals, to join even just for, for a few weeks, for a few, few months. And it helps you to be familiar with a lot of basic things like what is an office, what is office life, what is like basic administration, what is when you, when you have to talk to the colleagues. So it gives you a lot of basic experience, but every company will need. And you know, none of the companies want to teach you about that because they expect that you are already familiar with these basics. Okay, let's imagine the best, you do the homework, you were intern, you were volunteer, you are competitive, the company wants to work with you, and there is the situation when you have to negotiate about your salary. And what happens is you never did it before, you have no idea how it works, and you ask around, ask your friends, and some friends tell you, yeah, I just graduated in an IT department, the good university, like Panglong, and I have my salary immediately, $5,000. Just simply just don't believe in them. This part, just like the previously mentioned part, starts with preparation. You have to do research, you have to check internet forums, you have to see portals, you have to ask around. You have to be sure once you know what you want to do. You have to be familiar with the job you are applying for, you have to see in the internet or based on your research what is the normal salary for this. You have to find the policy of the company, they, how much they normally pay. Do they pay higher than the average fee in the market or not? So you have to make this kind of, uh, you have to do this preparation properly to help yourself in the negotiation and also one important element is most of you, in the first time, you focus on the money, which is obvious because eventually you have to pay uh, the monthly uh, fees of your life, but it's not the only element. So most of the company, even in the entry level, gives you a kind of package. There are different elements, and in your case, in your situation, the training opportunity, the career opportunity, the mentorship, the coaching, uh, the vision, or the suggestion from the company where you can grow with the company should be equally important. Uh, the next difficulty, which is relevant for the whole procedure, is, um, you know, this being in an interview or managing an interview from either from the company side or your side, it has some logic, okay? And it also, as I mentioned, requires some, some preparation. So obviously, if you've never done it before, you have to start somewhere. But at least you can foresee what will happen. Again, go to the internet and see what are the most frequently asked questions from the, from the recruitment people. So obviously, there are typical questions about your strengths and weaknesses. And, uh, why they have to hire you. So these kind of basics at least should be covered, should be well prepared, and you have to prepare yourself. Most probably, they will ask this question. If you are not prepared even for the typical question, you will lose the opportunity. Obviously, smart HR people, they not ask only what you can find in the internet. Obviously, they have their own specific question, because they want to test your skills, how flexible you are, and also want to help themselves to see how you well prepared, how can you speak, how can you do the preparation as I mentioned, but also how flexible you are if you are facing with a situation you are not prepared for, how you react. You completely shut down, you don't know what to do, or you are kind of creative, you are smart, you find out something. So again, mainly the interview skills is what you can't learn from a book, but you have to practice. But you can practice with, you know, teachers, friends, and also those people who already seen such a such a situation. Um, we just named this topic it's relocation, but it's it's more a kind of broader thing. You have to be flexible. 
So if you go to the company and say that, hey, you have to hire me because uh, yeah, I don't have too much experience, but two years later I will be the CEO here. So prepare yourself, I will be the CEO. And uh, you ask immediately, uh, do not accelerate or something like this. Obviously you will have no chance. And most of the jobs are not perfect. You have to make a deal with yourself, what the company can do for you, what is about your future, what can you learn here, what you have to sacrifice. So, you know, in my, for example, I myself in my early career traveled from home to the company one and a half hour and one and a half hour back. Well, it was a good company, I learned a lot. Salary was okay. But it was an investment. So ask yourself what this company can give to you, how the company will help you to be to have a better job of two or three years later, what are the benefits, and be flexible. If the company tells you, okay, maybe you have to travel, maybe you have to like relocate, you have to go to another city, if it's a good investment, consider. You should you have to show, especially at the early age when you are not like specialized yet, you don't have five, ten years successful experience, you have to be rather flexible. So we just summarized a few things, probably as a kind of guideline or, or something useful for you to do the preparation, because uh, there are a lot of job opportunities in Vietnam, a lot of investors are coming, you are in a very good university, you are very competitive, so uh, there are opportunities, but you have to do good preparation. First of all, you have to collect these relevant information about every job you are applying for. So I really suggest you to keep your eyes on these main and clear, clear um, critical elements. And these are the info you have to collect. Help yourself to, to be prepared to collect these info about every job and every company you are applying for. Everywhere, not only in Vietnam, but especially here in Vietnam, Almost everything is based on your network, or your family's network, or your social media activities, or who you know. So it's very important to present yourself. So it's important to, to spread the word about yourself. You are looking for a job. Also use your social media smartly. Uh, if I can make an advice for you. So if you have crazy pictures, Facebook and Instagram or whatsoever, before you apply a job interview, think twice, maybe you have to delete some. Okay, they will be checked. Okay, let's do a quick research. How many of you have a LinkedIn profile? Raise your hand. Okay, it's not much. So homework, first of all, go home and check what the hell LinkedIn is. Okay, it's like it's like Facebook for old people like me. To make it more serious, it's a, it's a professional social media platform for companies to find talent and for professionals to, to find similar people in the same industry so you can see what people are doing, moving. You can have amazing networks from, from LinkedIn because it's not for fun, it's for business, it's for professionals, it's for finding jobs the job searching, the job opportunities. So you have to be active. So if you are just sitting at home and you're waiting for the, you know, the miracle happens, it just like never happens. You have to use what you have. You have to use your friends network, you have to use online and offline media, you have to read news, you have to find uh, yeah, LinkedIn uh, opportunities. So you have to be active. And it's very important be flexible. So even if you, for the first round or for a while, you can't find any job because there are too many competitors, because of whatever reason, the company hires someone else, take an unpaid job, take an internship, be a volunteer, collect experience and practice. So more interview you do, more you are prepared, more experienced you are, the next one will be much better. So after a while, what will you see? Okay, I heard this question. Okay, I was familiar with this. And one of the most important thing is you go to the job interview first time, 
and probably it will be a disaster because you don't know what to do, which is not a problem because you have to learn, you have to start somewhere. But the very important thing is learn from the mistake. So you go to the interview, you remember all the questions, you go home, you write the question down and okay, it was the question, it was my answer. You will feel that what answer was good and what's not. No, no worries. And the third step is, okay, next time, if I have the same question, what the hell should I say instead of this? So start the search as soon as possible. Be prepared. Find the opportunities to test your, your skills. So even just go to the interview just for the interview, even if you don't want to take the job. Okay, at least like you will be practice, you will practice a little bit. And uh, use your network and most importantly be active and don't be afraid of the mistakes because you will do it anyway. But learn from the mistakes and sooner or later you will be very professional in this field.